feel safer and protected. I think they always have students of mind. Following up after our November 28, 2016 incident, uh, we received a lot of feedback about the need to be able to lock classrooms. There'll be some other things I'm going to share each week. Up to that point, all of our classrooms, uh, majority of them, did not have locks on them. In classrooms, uh, for those that did not have locks on them, uh, people were able to, students and, and faculty were able to pile uh, desks up, chairs up, uh, take different uh, methods to be able to secure themselves inside that classroom. If you have a lock, it just makes it that much easier and that much faster. There will be over, a total of over 600 by the time we're done. There's about 300 classroom pool rooms with about 600 doors. They're a very secure lock. From across the room, you can see if you are secure in the space. That's our intention, is to make sure that you don't have to go over to the door visually or touch it. You can see it actually from across the room that the latch has been thrown. We focus on run, hide, fight. They know what run is. They understand the fight piece, but hide, what does, exactly does that mean? We created a new video, uh, which is about nine minutes long, uh, which helps to emphasize what hide is, what steps you can take to hide in a classroom, uh, or wherever you're at on campus. To the university, I'm, I'm proud to say that they're doing this and they're taking it a step forward for the safety of students. For a community of 100,000 people situated inside the 14th largest city in the, in the country, it's still a safe community to live in. And we're very proud of that. <laughs>